In this video, we'll be studying genetic recombination. We have transformation, conjugation, generalized transduction, and specialized transduction. So first we will start off with transformation. Now transformation is genes are transferred from one bacterium to another and it's indirect contact. So here I have one bacterium and in here we have the genes fragments. So the cell ruptured. Now, once the cell is ruptured, this allows all of what's inside of the cell to leak out of the cell. Now, these genes are floating outside of the cell, which allows another bacterium to pick up the gene and incorporate it in its DNA. So this is transformation. Next up, we have conjugation. Now, conjugation is a transfer of genetic material from one bacterium to another using direct contact. Now, that direct contact is our pelus, and the donor cell extends its pelus and attaches itself to the recipient cell. Now, once they are attached to each other, they draw close to each other and connect. Now, once they connect, one strand of the plasma DNA is transferred to the recipient. Now once that is done, the recipient cell then makes a complementary strand to become an F plus cell. So it makes a strand, complementary strand. And our donor cell does the exact same thing. It makes its complementary strand, restoring its complete plasmid. And this is conjugation. Third, we have generalized transduction. So the definition is, as a fragment of bacterial DNA in the viral capsid enters the host cell, results in no viral replication, but additional bacterial DNA for the host. So here we have our bacterium. And inside this bacterium, a fragment of its DNA enters a viral capsid. Now, this virus leaves this bacterium and inserts this particular DNA into the host cell. Now, this host cell will not get a viral replication because the DNA inside of this capsid is bacterial. So what this host cell will get is additional bacterial DNA Okay, here's our fourth and the last one, specialized transduction. Now the definition here is the viral DNA is incorporated in a bacterium's chromosome by a specific phage. So here we have our bacterium with our specific phage and its DNA. Once released out of this cell, this specific phage will then insert its DNA, viral DNA, in a new cell now this new cell in its chromosome will have a viral DNA incorporated into it. And this is specialized transduction. Welcome to the study time portion of genetic recombination. First up is generalized transduction. So it is the fragment of bacteria. So we're gonna use the R for fragment. The bacterial DNA in the viral capsule that it enters the host DNA, resulting in no viral replication. So we're going to use the N for no viral rep replication. But additional bacterial DNA for the host. So I'm going to use the A in generalize for additional. And that's bacterial DNA. So generalized transduction is a fragment of bacterial DNA in the viral capsule. It enters a host cell resulting in 
no viral replication, but additional bacterial DNA enters the host chromosome. All right, here we have transformation. As genes are transferred from one bacterium to another in direct contact. So how we're gonna remember, we're gonna use the trans for transfer, and we're gonna use the I for indirect contact. So in direct and contact. So it's the transfer of genes from one bacterium to another, and it's indirect contact. Specialized transduction. It's the viral DNA is incorporated, so we're going to use the I and specialized for incorporated. Let's, yeah, this one. So it's incorporated into bacterium's DNA by a specific phage, i.e. lambda. So we're going to use the A for phage. All right, specialized transduction. Viral DNA is incorporated into bacterium's chromosome by a specific phage. So it's incorporated by a specific i.e. a lambda. Conjugation. And it's a transfer of genetic material from one bacterium to another and it's direct contact. So we're going to use, let's see, the I here in, for direct and then contact. And that direct contact is the pelis. So we're going to use the U. So it's a transfer of genetic material, the plasmid, from one bacterium to another direct contact using a pelis. Welcome to the test your knowledge portion of genetic recombination. I have our four words. I want to test your knowledge and see if you know the definition to each word here on the screen. 